Freitas going to be fighting Igor Vovchanchian. And Igor, he is the highest rank, no holds barred fighter right now. He won the Pride Show, which is the Japanese version of Vale Tudo. Two times he was a, a, the AFC champion. And uh, I think he's the current WVC champion. He's from Russia. He'll be in the black trunks. He weighs 235 pounds. And he's a big, and he's, strong And man. he's only 5'10". And his specialty was kickboxing. He's one of the few guys I've seen uh, dominate gra grapplers with virtually no grappling skills whatsoever, just based on his sheer brute power and punching ability. Well, he, he gets fought. on top of you and, and hits you, and, and you know he was there. He, he's about the toughest human being I've ever met. Well, here he is. He's a moose, no doubt about it. Freitas, strong man. Freitas gonna have his hand, hands full. Uh, he had to take this fight on, on very short notice. Edson called in with an injury three days ago, but he will be fighting in the next Vale Tudo. Yeah, Frederico did promise us a rematch, and we will have. It. He will be fighting Igor. I think the match is scheduled for the first week of February. And we'll have that for you on tape also available. And that ought to be a tremendous fight. The Deathmaster claims that he has killed people with the death touch, that he can gain a submission, a knockout with one blow. But unfortunately, he isn't here tonight, and a lot of the fans came out wanting to see him, were disappointed. But this still should be a good fight. This guy is... Uh, he is a fighter, yeah. Freitas. I don't look yeah. at him as just a replacement fighter. This is no. this is the real deal here. No, there's there there have been nobody as you can as you can see by the last fight in which there was a replacement fighter. That guy, he had a tremendous arsenal. I just think he was a little bit outgunned by the wrestler. Absolutely. He had a great arsenal. And they come out. You know, watch Igor try and strike. Igor is pointing out to the referee. Here we go again. Uh, they Igor. shake hands and come out fighting, both in a boxing stance. Igor's a tremendous leg kicker. As immediately, you immediately he goes for the thigh kicks. And if you're not uh, used to watching leg kicks, ladies and gentlemen, uh, they are about as devastating a thing as that you could have. A, it's the worst Charlie horse you'll ever have, <laughs> times a thousand. And you can see uh, Igor's legs look like tree stumps, although basically he'll be kicking. The shin will be the, the contact point on the leg kicks to the thigh. But It's the equivalent of a baseball bat hitting you at 80 miles an hour. He throws a left, and Fritas kind of dancing out of the way. I guess his game plan is going to be to keep moving, not give him a good target. The jiu-jitsu fighters are going to want to take uh, Igor down to the ground, which is not an easy task. Well, he, he, he came in for a, a leg dive. Igor rode him down to the ground, knee to the top of the head, and then rolled on top of him. Now, you call this the half mount when each one has a leg exactly. around the other. I call it the half guard. Half guard. Well, you, for the guy on the, the top, right. it's a half <laughs> it depends mount. For the guy on the bottom, yeah. it's a half right. guard. Right, it's a half a glass of water or a half a glass of glass. He's striking to the head. It's uh, Using those head butts very effectively. Yeah, Igor, here I am back again, guys. Yeah, Igor is just, an, I mean, he is without a doubt the highest ranked fighter in this industry. He is calm, he has, he comes from a kickboxing background, he's learning to grapple, yet this guy has defeated kickboxing, wrestling, jiu-jitsu, sambo. He, I mean, and it's so, I mean, I've been with this kid around he's the horse. world. Look at the hand, look at the size of his hands. I the, mean, they're a few feet away from us right now. The size and, of his uh, hands are unbelievable. Igor, Igor, it looks like he has two clubs. And uh, he's smacking Freitas in the back of the head now. And the amazing thing outside of the ring, he's such a tremendously nice and gentle, Very docile individual. Well, isn't that the way it always is? You know, us guys that are really tough, we're always the nicest guys. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, as I was saying, I mean, this guy's defeated everybody. He's proven that uh, of, of more than the style of fighter needs a heart. And uh, he does has a, 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 an unbelievable heart. You know? Well, he's working. He's got his face across, his arm across Frita's face. 
Uh, Freitas now has the guard. Yeah, he was he was trying to work on that side mount, and then Freitas was able to bring him back to the guard. Freitas showing a lot Freda's of hard. Freitas, quick hard. putt, quick hands. He's got quick. It wasn't hands. one of his smarter things standing up. He would have been better uh, staying on his back. I agree with you. I'm with you there. there. Well, you do not want to stand up against Igor. Well, yeah. uh, you're you're probably right, but we aren't the guy with the 235 pounds laying across our chest. One thing I've noticed about Igor is you, you guys are going to notice, like, he will not strike. He, he waits for an for opponent to attack in order to capitalize. He keeps his guard low. And right. he's, he's very a, much a counterfighter. He's a counterfighter. Very much it's so. a chum. We call it a chum. He's, he's, he's looking to pull the other guy in. The, one, the way he won the WVC 5 was by, by kneeing Nick Nutter, Mark Coma's best student in the face, and knocking the guy out in 30 seconds. Well, you saw earlier the first thing he did when he rode... Uh, Alusio down was a, a knee straight to the top of the head. A lot of credit needs to be given to Alusio, who took this fight in three days' notice. I mean, this guy, he's outweighted. Right. He didn't, I mean, he trains his regular routine, but he wasn't preparing for a fight and a fight of that caliber. Igor is ranked number two in the world today, Mark Kerr being number one. But however, Igor has proven himself by far more than Mark Kerr because he's, he's the only guy who won five eight men tournament. He's got the highest record in the industry. This guy, I mean, I have no words to... to I think he's the unsung hero. He, he's probably the least appreciated out of all these guys and probably the best and fighter I, out of all of them. You're right, Darren. And I think it has to do with the fact, he, you know, he lives in, in Kiev, Ukraine, and he's away from the press, and uh, he's a bodyguard for, to, to a very famous... Uh, beautiful kid. Left, he just left, a beautiful left, house, left kick to a round to house. Page. He comes down and he's... He works, but again, the patience. You see, he throws his flurry. As soon as he sees that it's not going to be a big advantage, he backs up. Wait a minute. El Elcio's not getting up. Oh, well, apparently. He, he took a shot to the groin, it looks like. That, that's been known to hurt. <laughs> I'll tell you, I would like... I, I'd rather have an operation, I think. Have my gallbladder removed again than get kicked in the groin by Igor Vucenshin. I mean, you the know. guy's got two tree stumps for legs. Yeah, that could, that could definitely hurt. I, I don't think he's going to be having any kids anytime oh, soon. Oh, well, not with me. <laughs> he's down. They're going to they're gonna have someone take a look at him. Yeah. I wonder if, if the kick really connected off the fight. It's, 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 it's taking a breather, you know? Well, you know, it's hard to see. There was that one moment when uh, Igor threw a flurry of kicks and punches and then backed off, and, and he certainly could have, could, could have landed... Uh, and Igor came from a great fight. Igor just fought Pride a, a couple months ago where he knocked out Gary Goodridge in three minutes. Gary Goodridge almost defeated Marco Huas. And uh, so here comes Igor and knocked him out in, knocks him out in three minutes. Yeah. As big and stocky as this gentleman is, he's tremendously agile. And if you look at the speed of his hands when he throws a hook or a right hand, it's tremendously fast. All right, El Ocio, got his breather. Got his groin back in order. He's bouncing around a little bit. That's going to also make he, him feel a little He's a little uh, gun-shy now, which is understandable. Well, he's got to be looking at Igor, trying to figure out where's the weak spot. You can see the jiu-jitsu guys anticipating the leg kicks. And uh, you notice how he's bounce, bouncing his front leg up and down. And, in fact, the last time he did a relatively good job of checking the leg, leg kick of Igor. Well, he's, he's not into a jiu-jitsu position at this point, obviously, because he's rocking back on his heels. I think, to be honest with you, I think he's a little bit afraid. There, he came forward a little bit there, a little aggressiveness, but I think he has a little bit of fear I, I'm of afraid. Igor's power. I'm, I'm sitting uh, 20 feet yeah, away. I think he's afraid of his power, and he's keeping him off balance, keeping him back on his heels, so he's obviously not going to be able to shoot in. I agree with you guys. And Aloysio took the fight, as I said in last notice, and I don't think he realized who he was up against. And after being in the ground, which is his strong uh, a part of his game, he realized. I mean, he saw the power of Igor. He couldn't right. move. I mean, he tried a couple arm locks, I think, and and he, he didn't succeed. So now I think he's pretty much desperate. He doesn't even know what to do. Right. Igor's cutting the ring he's off. In trouble. He took, a, he took the dive. Good. He pulled him into his guard, which is really about the safest place that he could be. Absolutely. But Igor already passed half a guard, and I was almost in the mouth. Oh, oh, oh leg lock. He's going for a leg lock. Oh, he lost okay. it. Now Igor's going to move his leg. Actually, Igor's doing a, showing a great display of wrestling skills now. He must be working on it. He's this. improved a great deal. And yeah. that's the only loss that I saw that Igor had in his career was in the absolute fighting championship number one in, Mos in Moscow, Russia. And he lost for a leg lock against Misha, who later on fought against Carlos Barreto and lost in the Universal Valley to the fighting in Tokyo. He's got a good Igor's awareness. Igor's clearly in a superior... Watch, he's opening his knee up to throw a knee, uh, right. a knee strike. He's got an awareness he's, he's of his body, absolutely. Right there. He's not, yeah, that's it. That's it. And he's I'll lose it. Before he gets out. hurt too much, too, before he 
before he gets hurt too much. Yeah, I go. He did the right thing. Thank you, Federico. Yeah, that was Frederico That was the Lopenda. super fight. And, uh, well, we hope you enjoyed it. As I said, the first week of February, Igor is going to be fighting Edson. So we're all looking forward to that match. That's one thing about Frederico. He makes a promise. He says he's going to put a match together, and he does. He wouldn't like a lot of boxing promoters. He wouldn't lie. Oh, they're helping that, him out of the uh, ring. He's got some, you know, he's got a neck sprain. I mean, those knees to the head. It's got to uh, be tough. Knees to the head. I don't know he if you've ever you watched a, a carpet layer work. It's like the equivalent. You see the carpet Absolutely. layer right, using that That's uh, right. knee to dry the carpet. Imagine your head being that well, uh, pad. Yeah, he looked like he was installing uh, his head into the carpet, unfortunately, for Alessio. We've got the championship match coming up next. As soon as we clear the ring... It's going to be the championship match, and that's going to be a pretty good fight, too. Guys some, with some good skills you saw earlier, Travis Fulton and Luis Claudio, they both overcame some good fighters. They had some good matches. They yes, fought they their did. way. There were no, no gimmies. They both proved themselves with some really good fights. And that's really what makes up a good fight card is uh, every fight is a, somewhat of a challenge. No stiffs. There's nobody protected in this game. Yeah. Anything could happen at any time. Igor's got his people in the ring. There's Frederico. Handsome man. <laughs> he tells me that all the time. <laughs>